At the University of Minnesota, we've been using video conferencing for clinical telemedicine consults in many different specialties for a long time. A few years ago, we started demonstrating telemedicine for 10 days at the Minnesota State Fair as an educational opportunity to show fairgoers, especially those from rural areas, how new technologies can save travel time and provide increased access to health care. We chose teledermatology as the specialty to demonstrate because we thought it would be the easiest to get volunteer participants. We were right. Every year we get hundreds of people curious about a mole or spot that they have. They're also amazed that a doctor is actually talking to them and seeing their mole from a distance in real time. High definition video quality really added a feeling of reality to the encounter. The fair is far from a clinical environment, so we couldn't offer an actual diagnosis, but it was an excellent demonstration of telemedicine to our participants, as well as to those watching. When our doctors spotted something suspicious, they would encourage the person to follow up by seeing their own doctor or a dermatologist. Last year, we screened over 500 participants. About a third of them were referred to their doctor for further evaluation. In fact, 34 lesions looked very much like skin cancer. We had one person return to tell us, your doctor saw me at the fair and found a suspicious mole on my chest. I followed up with my doctor who removed it because it was cancer. Thank you for saving my life. Not every screening was that dramatic, but if it actually saved a life, I guess that makes it all worthwhile.